hello friends so today we are going to discuss about the memory layout of a process so in this diagram we can see that uh, whenever a C program is running on an OS then its memory will be divided in these many segments these are the segments which a process has in a OS environment so I'll explain you each and every field here that uh, which field contains what okay so first of all as you know that uh, in a OS environment each process has kind of infinite mem not infinite memory but uh, almost all the memory which it can access from lower address to higher address for example lower address could be 0 0 to ff i mean the highest address range okay so these are the lowest address of the memory and these are the higher address now first we uh, first i'll explain you about the text segment text segment is nothing but uh, the segment which contains the main code which is being executed for a uh, process so whenever you are writing a program all the code part will be stored here which is so this area is a constant area I mean we cannot it's a not constant we can say it's a right protected protected area so we can read this area but we cannot write anything on this okay so for any process this is a write only area second is the initialized data so whenever you are declaring any global variable or any uh, static variable which is initialized to a value they will be stored in this initialized data segment okay and uh, this initialized data segment can also have two parts one is the constant part so for example if you are uh, setting anything as constant in as a global variable then it will be read only so again this will contain two parts uh, uh, read only part and read write part so whenever it is a constant it will be uh, read write uh, read only part and other will be read write part the third segment is uh, the third section is uh, uninitialized data which is also called bss so in this whenever in this segment so whenever in your program you are uh, uh, you are uh, creating any global variable or static static variable and you are not going to assign it with anything then it will be stored in this uninitialized data area and those variables will be initialized to the zero at the runtime okay so it's clear initialize data all global variables static variables which is initialized to a value and in uninitialized data all global variables and static variables which are not initialized to any value now come to the heap whenever you are going to us allocating whenever you are going to allocate a stat uh, sorry uh, dynamic memory then it will be allocated in a heap whenever you are allocating memory using malloc, calloc, realloc uh, fa I mean function call you are calling for the allocation then it will be allocated in the heap memory so it's clear so you will be freeing this memory using free function other segment is the stack whenever you are calling any function from your program then a stack frame is allocated for it so all the variables you are creating in your function will be stored in the stack area 
so as soon as the function uh, I mean is being called and we process as soon as and as soon as you return from this function those variables will be wiped off from the stack so all the local variables will be stored in the stack but the, if a local variable is a static variable then again it will not be stored in the stack but it will be stored either in the uninitialized data or initialized data depending on whether it is initialized or uninitialized okay the next segment is environment variable and command line argument whenever you are running any program it will be having its own environment and command line arguments so those things will be stored in this area okay so i hope you got a basic idea about the memory segmentation in the memo memory segmentation for the c program in the next video i will show you that in a live program that where all variables will be stored in which area okay thanks for listening me you can subscribe my channel for getting more videos like this